Hello, 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 everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net. Ooh, I know you want to see me talk. Ah, what well, does it matter? Anyways, um, just wanted to let you know um, we've got uh, an interesting situation here using Kraken. Now, if you're like me, who's working on uh, orders, I talked about this in my last video. So if you come under configure instruments, I had to manually import all of these um, symbols here for my Kraken. Uh, so for instance, this one, if you go under edit, sometimes it may default when on the import, it may import as a stock, which means you will not get access to the order preset option. So if it's, an op, if it's a type of a stock you won't get the order presets it's very important to understand that so in there I had to go in and manually change the individual coin pairs from stock to cryptocurrency and because of that I now have access to the, to the order preset <clears throat> so in here this is the default you want to set at so here I could set it at uh, I don't know point five let's say whatever I don't know the price update it okay <clears throat> okay so that's KNC so let me close that up so I want to make sure that that actually sticks so going down to KNC or let me just do it this way I'm gonna make sure that what I put under order preset is 0.5 which it is okay now, just so you know, when I open up a new chart for KNC, uh, right up here, I guess. So KNC. Okay, so I have the chart here, KNC, right? Whatever time period I want, half an hour, one hour, whatever. Okay, so now, when I apply my strategy, in this case, this one, what will happen is, in order to meet your minimum uh, order on, let's say, $10 under trading options, here you have to make sure that your trading lot times your default in the order set, the, the multiplication of those two, exceed at least $10 or $15. Otherwise, you get an, ex an exception of insufficient funds. So you gotta make sure you clear that <clears throat> up. So how do you know what to set for um, the order preset of, let's say it was uh, KNC, okay? Just, just as an exa example, you edit an order preset. So as I said before on another video, um, you've got to go into my chat server here. This is updated every uh, six hours. So in here, if you go under and you log into quantlabs.info, this is made publicly. You'll find this portfolio analysis. So if you click that, uh, just wait it out here, or better yet, see here okay so if you go to the most the freshest data okay and in depending upon your exchange you can look for KNC here and I've talked about this in another video the quantity you need to make ten dollars is 5.94 to also include plus that plus the uh, 0.32 the minimum quantity would be 0 0.037 okay so that's for something like KNC, oh sorry, uh, 5.94 for $10 plus the commission of 0.32, it'd be 7.84. Okay, so just to let you know, and uh, that's how we do it here, uh, what I'm figuring out. So every time you do a trade setup, uh, you need to check the that quantity Make sure that you've got the correct um, minimum order. 
in the order preset, meaning under here. Let me just do it again. So you go under um, uh, configure instrument, then your KMC on the search, and then do an edit. And then you'll find the order preset, so you adjust whatever you want from that chat server put in here for the latest price. This will matter when the price falls very quickly or goes up really quickly, and uh, you need to update that quite frequently because of the ch price changes in, in crypto as well, so I have to stay on top of that. All right, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully this will help you out at all with MotoWave and order presets of quantity. Oh, another thing as well. What I have noticed, um, when you have a strategy, let's say, or study, my case is strategy, really important to understand this. Whatever you set here in any of these fields, let's say I put it to two, uh, and I create it, okay, and I go back here to update it. Sometimes if it's running out of memory, it'll default to number one or whatever the default is set up for the lot size. So you have to ensure uh, they have enough memory uh, on your system to uh, prevent that because what will happen is if you do, I don't know, a default on, on Bitcoin, let's say, and you had a hundred thousand dollar account, and you only want to purchase 0 0.001 as a quantity, you activate your trade, and then you check it here on the quantity. Okay, and if you're running out of memory and you're still at one, and the strategy is running, it'll use the full quantity of one, meaning uh, it'll use the full amount. Uh, to buy a Bitcoin. If it's set back to one without you knowing it. So be very aware of that. Um, so you have to have enough space on your system, RAM wise, uh, because that's when it can get kind of dangerous. Other than that, we shall talk to you later. Hopefully this will help you out. Later.